Oh, my hair is good tonight. Okay, I have a date. Yes, I have a date tonight. Y'all know I don't reply to any messages on dating apps if they're generic. Hey, hey, beautiful. How are you? So he wrote a very specific message to me about my love languages and what I wrote in my profile, how much he believes in the love languages. So that was a good start. So I replied and we have been texting and sending videos back and forth for the last 10 days, which is not typically me. I don't want to be texting more than a week, but due to certain circumstances with his kid's schedule and my kid's schedule, it got postponed. So now it's tonight. So he sent flowers yesterday to be delivered here to say, I'm looking forward to tomorrow night. Like what a boss move. Apparently he put the billing address where the shipping address went and they got delivered to his house. So he's going to bring them to me tonight. But I thought that was really clever. Since we've had 10 days of texting, I've been able to vet him with all my normal questions that I send. And so far he has passed them all. So far, everything I know about this man seems lovely. He has not talked about sex. He has not sent me a dick pic. <laughs> He's been very respectful, very funny. But most importantly, he loves his kids. He spends a lot of time with his kids. I just find that so sexy in a man. But honestly, I don't have any red flags. But the night is young and we will see and I will let you know. So this is why it's important to meet sooner than later. <laughs> because even though on paper this man seemed great and he passed all my vetting questions. In person, I just did not click with him. He was a perfect gentleman. He brought me flowers. He paid for dinner. He was appropriate and respectful. But I ask a lot of questions on dates. And the way he talked about his past relationships just brought up a lot of red flags for me. And my gut was screaming, this is not the man for you. <laughs> and I'm listening to my gut. So now I have to inevitably send him the text message today that I didn't feel a connection, but I wish him the best of luck. And now I'm going to go enjoy a wonderful day with my kids.